Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be another segment of Behind the Reviews. Now we're going to talk about getting burned out. And what do you do about it? <laughs> uh, there's several times that I got burned out already. And basically, this is in terms of building mall kits, in particular Gundam mall kits, or Gunpla. And after a while, you've been building the same thing. Uh, it has kind of like uh, similarities for each kit. And sometimes we're building the same line, like uh, Gundam Seed. It's the same base model, you just different armor, and you get tired of it uh, real quick. <laughs> and after a while, you go with the same procedure: you got a uh, number of removal, seam line removal, sanding, painting, panel lining. After a while, you just you get burned out, uh, basically, or you got too many projects ongoing, and you just get overwhelmed. So, what do you do about it? Well, I've come up with a couple of things over the years, and it's something I just want to share. So right in front of us, we get a high grade, uh, high mock from the Build Fighter series. Now, one of the things I've, I've done uh, before, and you've probably seen in my videos, is I've just redo a, I do a recolor. I repaint it, and to make it look like something else, kind of like a crossover. <laughs> and on this one, I could I could see myself making a Hulk Buster out of this. So he has he has that uh, form, and I think that will be that will make a cool custom to do actually. So a Hulk Buster of the high model. Not too bad. It's a grand suit, but you, you can make it some look uh, amazing. Now, here's another example that I've done in the past. This is my, well, this is based from the red frame. It's a high grade, and I made it look like a uh, Deadpool. It's a simple recolor. I've painted the, or around the eyes, black. You get the silver on the eye. It looks really amazing. And I painted it, put some uh, Deadpool insignias. And that's it. It's actually a very simple uh, paint job, and it make it it makes wonders. Sometimes uh, there's a certain Gundam design that looks like something else, and when you repaint it, it's it's amazing. <laughs> so that's something you can do. Uh, try repainting it. Uh, do crossover teams, and you'll be surprised. It may be something that you like, as I have. There you go. So that's one thing that you can try. Actually, let me just put this aside here. Um, another thing you can try is, you know, try a different technique. Um, here's one of my old ones. This is a first grade, uh, a first grade strike Gundam. Now the first grades are they have limited articulation, but it's a it's a cheap kit that you can use and practice painting with, or you just want to try something different. Now, as you can see on this one, this is battle damage. I went crazy with this one. Yeah, so basically what I did on this one is use needle files, the ones you can get from the hardware store, and start just, you know, hacking away, um, sanding, trying to make gouge marks, and as if you uh, fought Deadpool here, there's a lot of slash marks here. Very unrealistic, because that's a lot, and that's a really huge gouge mark. Yeah, and there's no burnt, because usually uh, I fought against... Uh, there's someone with either a heat hawk or a beam saber, so it's a little crazy. <laughs> but you know, uh, having that aside, that the whole argument about you know, being uh, or realistic, it's a fun thing to do, and maybe I should have cut back. <laughs> but it's something to do. Uh, add battle scars on your kit. Another thing I also tried is dry brushing. Now I use dry brushing for only uh, uh, or mainly for uh, texture look. Uh, this one is dry brush with metallic paints. It's painted all black. Then I uh, painted the silver. That's dry brush, metallic blue, metallic red, and it it's kind of cool, interesting outcome. But it's it's one of those that dry brushing is mainly used for weathering. But I just use it too much, and people might think, yeah, you weathered your thing like too much. But I'm going for a different look, the textured look. Anyways. That's another thing you can try. Oh, let me put it aside here. Another thing you can try is try a different uh, figure line. Or sorry, try a different mall kit line. Uh, one of them is Kodobukiya. That's the next big, uh, best thing in my opinion, aside from Bandai. Then you have the scoop dog here. This is the D-Cell. Kind of like their Super Deforms uh, series. And it's it's a co cool fun build. I really like uh, building this scoop dog here. Likewise, uh, Kotobuki also makes uh, big kits like uh, the SRW Soul King. Right 
there. And again, it's something different. That's what you want to do. Try something different. Challenge yourself whenever you hit a, a burnout. <laughs> um, other than that, let's see what else I've tried. Um, I also tried just trying out new tools. Um, I used to use a really old, uh, what do you call this, um, nippers or sprue cutters. But now I'm using uh, Callahan. I even went and tried the Tamiya Sharp uh, points here, which worked out well also. So, trying out a new tool might be a fun thing to do. I even tried the BMC chisel. Very expensive, but it has a nice outcome. So, yeah, just trying out that or trying out your hobby cement. No, I got two now. The one, one, uh, one of them dries faster. Or even trying water slide decals. Just something different to try out. Uh, what else I have here? Oh, getting back to the kits. Uh, here's another thing. So unlike mole kits, you can also build uh, ships. Uh, I had this. And another thing that, another tool that I have on my toolbox now is the port type. The Gundamar port type. And it helps a lot getting those really nice panel lines. Especially this kit, it has a lot of pattern lines and it helps a lot to use that port type because it's just wick. It will just, uh, does the capillary action and get through all the crevices. And it made uh, pattern line this uh, you know, very easy. And outcome is really amazing. I really like this kit. It's a different, it's not a Gundam, it's a spaceship. So again, you gotta try something different. Other than that, <laughs> as you can see from my previous video, you know, I've added uh, water slide decals on my figures. Now that's something because you usually put them on uh, on mall kits, but you can also put them in figures. You know, it's not that different at all. So yeah, again, the main idea is you want to try something different, and hopefully you will find that uh, as well. And also it helps. Um, to get motivated. Actually, I haven't tried the water slide decal if not for um, a couple of friends that have, have shown me that, you know, it's it makes your figure amazing. And that convinced me, you know what, I should try that too because I, I want that figure. It looks amazing. It has all the decals and it's something I can try. And actually, that's not too bad. It's easy to do. Water slide, it's not that hard. All right. Um, yeah, and otherwise, it's good to have a group, uh, be part of a group that helps also with the monotony. You know, there's always going to be someone out there who show you new tricks or even even challenge you. So that's always good to have. But otherwise, it's really up to you. You just got to find something different that will get uh, get your yourself back to the hobby. All right, hope that helps for some of you that are burned out. Just try something different. Otherwise. That's about it for this segment. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.